Uh, now that I've done that with you guys, you should be able to get this one, okay? You kind of know where we're going with this, right? <coughs> Do your slope is rise over run. So what's your logical conclusion for the undefined slope? What kind of number would that be? What, what, it's an undefined number. Something over zero. Something over zero. Austin, like what would you, what'd you get? X equals zero over y. Zero over y is kind of like this case, right? It's, it's, it's a zero over a number, and that's this case. But what we want with undefined slopes, the, the thing about them is, Talia, is what? What kind of rise over run is it? Um, the rise over run for the... Yeah, rise over run. If we had a, what kind of line is this going to be? We know that one's vertical, right, or horizontal, so this will be what? Vertical. Yeah, the slope's undefined, you were given that. So what is the, what's it going to look like on a graph? Up and down. Okay, so should we just go through there? There it is. And let's say that's at 1, 2, that's 0, negative 3. Or sorry, negative 3, 0. Um, what about the equation of that line? And what about the rise of a run of that line? Anybody know the slope or how that looks? Camera? Negative 3, okay, this is x is negative 3. What's the equation going to look like? y over 0. Something over 0, good. y over 0, exactly. Um, some number over 0. And the key is you can't divide by a 0. You can't do it because y divided by 0 is the same thing as multiplying times. The reciprocal of 0 can't be done. And this is the answer that you really want from you. Isn't that why it's undefined? No? That's why it's undefined. This is undefined. Undefined. So write that down, okay? That's really key and really major. Can you get in on that, Marshall? Okay, go ahead and write it down now, Marshall, and then you can leave the camera. And then the equation of this line is what? Anybody know Stuart? No, I don't know. Just have a look at it. What point does it go through? If you want, you can make a table. What's x and y? Y would be, uh, x would be 0. No, x isn't going through 0 here. Oh, I'm sorry. Negative 3, uh -huh. and then uh, 0. 0? What? Two, what? Zero. Negative 3, what? What's the other point? See, the point is it's stuck at negative 3, isn't it? 1. Negative 3 is always stuck there, and everything else is just going up and down oh. at will. Okay, like an elevator that just goes out of control. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just up and down, up and down, up and down. An elevator is a great example, right? The elevator just, boom, it's one place. It doesn't go anywhere. You can't move an elevator to the left or right. It's the longevator. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. Right. Yeah. Oh, what? The longevator. The longevator, oh. right, that's right. The real longevator. This line is like an elevator in one place, that's at negative 3, and it goes up and down at will, right? And that's reflected in your table. Negative 3 is what the x value is, and then all the y values can vary. 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 4, negative 5, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. It never goes right or left, Alex, and it always goes up and down, okay? So, Moa, you had a comment or a question? What does y say? This is x, okay, y times, so I guess you should put the word time, okay? y times the, all right, <coughs> times the reciprocal of 0 is undefined. You can't multiply by the reciprocal of 0, okay? You can't multiply by the reciprocal of 0. <laughs> all right, so you can't have y divided by 0. That's what this is. Here. Uh, rise over run is y over 0, and you can't do that. That's why it's undefined. That's really the key thing here. And so when you ask to explain it, it says graph each line and explain why it is the way it is. You should write, you cannot have a fraction. You can't have a fraction with a 0 in it. That would get you your points. Even better, why can't you have a fraction with 0 in it? Because why? Because it's either 0 or it's undefined. That's true. But why can't you, as a fraction, why can't you have a zero in the bottom? You can't divide by zero. You can't divide by zero. Why? Because dividing by zero is the same thing as multiplying by its 
And there is no reciprocal of zero. That's the key thing. All right, you'll get that on the state tests and stuff like that. All right.